Welcome back to our tech. Today we're going to see how to build a wireless card with a Fenway FV101 mini PCI Wi-Fi card holder along with an Intel 3160 dual band wireless. Okay, I had already done a video which had um, an Intel 5 series wireless card which I got from an old laptop. And I built that card using, a, you know, a mini wireless uh, PCI card holder. I got that on eBay. So this one's a little more advanced and it's a little better quality than the one I had the last time. This is built by a company called as Fenvi. It comes in this nice little box. It's got better quality antennas. You can see that they look much bigger than, you know, they look uh, of better quality and uh, they feel much nicer to hold as well. Uh, in, in the box you also have, okay, we'll come to that small little box layer. So this is nicely wrapped. It looks like a quality product. They provide a lot of accessories with it. Uh, any kind of uh, screws you need, extra jumpers, extra clips, screws, anything you want. Let's open the main pack which has the wireless card holder. Okay, there it is. It's the Fenway FV101. It's a very simple little uh, PCI, mini PCI card holder. It's got a nice little cover on top. It uh, has some specifications given there about the antenna. So once you open that up, you will see that it's got a nice gold-plated uh, antenna wire, which takes it to the main antennas. So the antenna clips go on to the wireless card, which I'll just be opening in a minute. So just want to show you how good this looks. It's got this nice matte black finish. Two antennas at the back. This can support Bluetooth and a dual band Wi-Fi card. So essentially, you also can plug in your Bluetooth inbuilt motherboard Bluetooth connector to, to this particular device, which means if you have you know, your motherboard supports Bluetooth, you can use this card's antenna to kind of boost that. And they've given a cable for that. So here's a small manual that comes with this. Uh, you can download drivers if you want to, but it really doesn't need any if you're using Windows 10. Uh, just basic instructions and just tells you what you can do. So that's the Bluetooth function in case you have one on your motherboard which lets you plug out an antenna. You can use this for that as well. This card comes with the Bluetooth capability so we don't need that. Okay now let's go ahead and open this small little box here. So what we have here is the Intel 3160 dual band Wi-Fi mini PCI card. For some reason I just love building this thing. Okay the, they've also given us two little holding screws for this. So the last time I built it, it was from scrap from an old laptop, but this time I bought this device separately. I wanted the Bluetooth function mainly because a lot of these things today which you get, which are IoT ready, use Bluetooth and uh, this particular Intel chip, look at that. It's so small and the camera is barely able to focus on it. Okay, so that's the Intel 3160 dual band Wi-Fi mini PCI card. It's got that two little antenna slots there where you plug in uh, the Fenway adapter and this sits in the slot and you know once you put in the cap and you connect it to your desktop it becomes a very powerful Wi-Fi card for your desktop. So that's how simple the card is. It's not one of those high-end Wi-Fi cards. This doesn't cost that much as well. I've left links in the description if you want to buy uh, these from Amazon. Uh, it could be a nice project hobby if you want to build one you you do get ready-made wi-fi cards for your desktop but uh, it's it just feels a lot better to build them at home you know for your desktop and you do get some extra functionalities with this okay let's go ahead and assemble this thing together so just it's as simple as just plug and play you just take the chip and insert it into the slot just make sure that you know look at the position it's it's very hard to go wrong here so you can either choose to connect the antenna bands first or you can just insert it into the slot. So I've, I'm going to first put it in the slot and lock it in place and it just snaps in very easily. Okay, all you need to do is just slide it in and you'll hear a clicking sound and that should be done. That's it. So you'll see that there's a slight uplift when you actually do that, but that's normal. So you just need to use the two holding screws which they've provided so that this sits in place. So those are the two little screws which they've given. Use them and fasten them to the to the card holder and we're done. 
just remember to keep just remember that you need some basic tools like your Phillips screwdriver or any other small screwdriver set to you know do this job so just keep that in mind once you do that just make sure that you snap these antennas back into place okay you can do it any way you want there's no hard and fast rule so just make sure they snap in nice and firm and you should be good to go so that's how the full card looks now all we need to do is just add the cap the protective cover outside cover by the way this can work without the protective cover but you know you can add that on if you want to just to avoid dust so Fenway's actually provided some screws to hold the outer cover as well in place unlike the previous one which used to keep falling off i've left the link above here in case you want to see that previous video so once that is done you're all good to go the card is ready to be assembled inside a desktop Okay, that's my previous desktop Wi-Fi card, uh, which I assembled about two, three years ago. I'm going to knock that off. It's, it's a very bare minimum basic card, which I had in there. Uh, very good dual band capabilities, but uh, no Bluetooth. And uh, it probably isn't as efficient as the 3160 again. So let's go ahead and remove that and put this on. So that, that's the card. And that's got three antenna slots. Uh, never seem to be using one of them at all. So that is a Fenway card. Let's remove the antennas before we mount this into the motherboard. So once you snap it in place, just ensure you, you know, uh, fasten the screw so that it holds it on to the cabinet nice and strong. Not able to give you a good angle as to how this looks. So once you're done, just uh, screw the antenna back from the, from the rear of the cabinet and you're good to go. It folds nice and well. So that's it then. So, Let's go ahead and download some of the drivers. I'll just show you how it's done. I've already done this step, but uh, all you need to do is just Google Intel 3160 drivers. And uh, it, since this is an Intel card, you have no problems getting the drivers whatsoever. Just download the drivers. And once you go to the Intel support page, you will find that you have it for any operating system you want, including in Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 or Windows 10. So there are two drivers you need to download. One is the Windows Intel ProSet driver and also the Bluetooth driver. So once that is done, go ahead and install the drivers, run the setup. Make sure that you install the ProSet drivers first and then the Bluetooth drivers. So there was a bit of problem once I did this. Uh, you can open Device Manager to actually check if it's installed and you would see that it actually shows Intel Dual Band Wireless 3160. That means your card is working fine. Unfortunately, due to some flaw in Windows 10, and I thought it was actually a problem with the card itself, but it just wouldn't show Bluetooth, no matter what I did. I, I did a lot of research, I checked a lot of communities, but there was no sign of Bluetooth. And that was really disappointing to know that um, despite having a dual band card with Bluetooth support, you don't find Bluetooth in the device manager. Um, you can try different options and, you know, I kind of ran through all of the device manager just to see if it's installed as a different device, but there was no Bluetooth. And then it looked like, you know, there's a flaw in Windows 10. So if you have any queries, drop in, drop in your comments below. So that is the Intel Dual Band Wireless AC3160 Wireless Mini PCI card. Thank you so much for watching Artec. Please do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.